I'm going to practice decision making for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. This exercise really helps me to learn the Yaku and identify the potential in my drawn hand. I still try to stay flexible during the game, but having a direction is a good thing. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. We're going to alternate between east and south round. Here goes first one. We'll just say we're the dealer for these, so I'll get 14 tiles. Let's pull Dora. One crack is Dora right here. So we have a one, three, four, six pair of fours isolated. One, three, four, five, six. I think I would try for all chi, which is also called pinfu. Now with pinfu, you need to have a side weight. So we would have to plan that in. Right now, this is a closed weight where we need the five crack in the middle. This is a closed weight where we need the two bam in the middle. If we drew in more bams, we may be able to use these tiles to build that side weight, either here or here. So I think I would start by discarding these two, try to build in a side weight and go for Pinfu. Pinfu and Ricci. Leverage Dora try the challenge here is that since the two crack oh wait a minute oh my goodness okay one crack is not dora three crack is dora either way we got it so three crack is dora so the challenge here is we need that two crack to make a one two three and there's already one two crack out we could always use it here that is a side weight, uh, but then that would leave an isolated six. So I think, you know, we definitely need to do a lot of drawing, but to me, this would be a great pinfu hand. If you would do something differently, write random pull one and what you would play. South, round, random pull two. Eight bam is Dora. No Dora. So here we have a nice set of cracks. There is chi potential, potential pwn, potential chi, chi, pwn. Now there's a pwn right there. Let's see here. If we're the dealer and it is south round, these will not bring score in and of themselves. We do have a pair. These are all isolated. Or we could break that up and use this as a So let's just count that and see. Here's one, two, three, four blocks. Probably I would play Pinfu here. Discard these. All we need is one more tile to create another potential chi and we would be on our way to pinfu again pinfu and Ricci. i think that's what i would do here if you would do something differently write random pull two and what you would do we're on east round third random pull Four bam is Dora. I think what I would do here, we have a pwn of dragons. I would let that be my Yaku 
and I would pone and chi as much as I can and just go for a dragon pone. So we do, if we're east and it's the south round, I would hold this for a while, see if we could pair that up for wind of the round yaku, yaku high or fan pai. And then pone here, these are all isolated, but we could chi here, just shoot for that dragon pone. I think that's how I would play this one. If you would do something differently, write random pull three and what you would do. If we played half flush with um, our suit for this pair here, we would have five discards. I think probably I would discard this nine crack first and hold this for a potential chi. If we drew in bams, I might even be tempted to play honitsu and dragon pwn. Half flush dragon pwn if we draw in bams. Otherwise, I would just chi and pwn and try to win quick. If you would do something differently for random pull three, write that in the comments section. We are now on south round. Three Bam is Dora right here. I think I would get rid of these and play Pin Fu and Richi. We have a Chi right there. Potential Chi pair isolated. Potential Chi, potential Chi. One, two, three, four, five. We've got the blocks already lined out and we have a side weight right here. So with Pin Fu, you got to have a side weight. So I would try to draw a four Bam in here. We need a five crack in there. Otherwise, we're good to go. I would discard these first and then work with numbered tiles, plan a side weight, Pinfu and Richi. And Dora. Ooh, and Uradora. Don't forget, if you Richi, you get Uradora too. That would be the tile under Dora. So if you win, you then get that tile too. In this case, at this point, we would not have had it, but during the picking and discarding, you might come across the tile that would be Uradora. That's kind of the fun part about Ricci, one of the many. We are now on East Round, random pull five. Two bam is Dora. We don't have a two bam, but we do have a one bam. I think what I would do is discard these single honors and try for Pinfu and Richi again. Here we have a two, one, three, one. There's a slim chance for Sanshoku or mixed triple chi, but I don't think I would focus on that as much because it's kind of a long shot, too many gaps but I would keep it in mind while I pick and discard. But I would start by discarding these honors and play Pinfu and Richi. We do have two ones. If I'm gonna use the two bam, if we happen to draw it, I think I would wanna keep that one and try to leverage Dora. So I don't think I would plan for all simples and get rid of the ones. I think I would keep them, especially since we have a three, two. If you would do something differently here, write random pull five and what you would do. We are on south round, last one. Dragon Pwn, pair, pair, pair. 
I think I would play toy toy here. All pwn, all three of a kind. Any pair is a potential pwn. We could pwn, 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 be ready on a pair anywhere in here. That's what I would do here, toy toy. Anytime I have all these pairs, so if I start pairing up, maybe even seven pair, that's called chitoitsu, which is four fawn. If you would do something differently here, write random pull six and what you would do. So I think the most common during that session was Pinfu and Richi, but there were a couple, all pwn, maybe even a Chitoitsu, if we could draw more pairs. Having Starting off with four pairs, pretty nice. And then of course, I think there was at least one Honitsu, half flesh. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you learn the Yaku. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.